Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to blur moving objects in CapCut for PC. Whether you're a YouTuber, filmmaker, or just someone who wants to protect their privacy, blurring faces and moving objects is a useful technique to have in your video editing arsenal. With CapCut for PC, it's easy to achieve this effect. Let's get started. First, let me show you how to blur a still image. Open CapCut on your PC and import your still image on the timeline. In this example, I would like to blur the inscription on the building. This can be done very easily in CapCut. First, create a copy of the still image and align it exactly over the first clip. In the Effects tab, scroll down to Trending and apply the blur effect to the top clip by dragging it to it. Adjust the effect strength to your taste. The blur effect is applied to the entire clip, which is not what we want. To fix this, select the clip and click the mask tab. Choose a suitable shape, in this case rectangle will do the trick. Change the shape of the rectangle to completely cover the inscription on the wall. Use the widgets or enter exact values in the properties window on the right. When you are done, click the full screen button to get a better preview of the result. I think that looks pretty good. Of course, the effect strength can be changed later. Click the base tab and then the pencil icon. So that was how to blur part of a still image. Now let's see how to do that with moving objects. Before that, I will show you how to blur the car brand on the side of the car. I'd like to point out that you can download this video clip for free at Pexels. The steps for blurring part of a moving object in CapCut are similar to blurring a still image. First, create a copy of the clip and align it. Then apply the blur effect to the clip. Select the clip and apply a mask to limit the effect to one area. Resize the mask to cover the car brand sticker. By the way, CapCut has recently received a motion tracking function. I have already made a video about it. Hit the motion tracking button, then select a source area. Optimal is a region that does not change much. The T sign on the car door should work well. Press the start button to calculate the motion tracking. As you can see in the preview, the blurred area changes. From my point of view, this is a bug. At least it doesn't happen in other video editors. If you think I'm wrong, stupid or missed something, Please leave a comment below. Let's play back the result. No, no, and no again. I definitely don't like this shit. But don't worry, I'll show you how to fix this in a moment. The first trick you can try is to avoid the blur effect, and instead use a sticker to cover the unwanted area. Delete the copy of the clip as we don't need it. Now select the stickers tab and choose from the library. I think this one fits well in this scene. Drag it to the timeline and adjust it to the duration of the clip. Change the size of the banana to completely cover the car brand. Now try the motion tracking again. Although the banana does a pretty decent job, it still looks a little crappy. <laughs> Let me show you how to overcome the bug. You must unlearn what you have learned. Copy the clip. 
add the mask. Change the size. Click this button to create keyframes. By the way, I made a video on my channel about keyframes in CapCap. Check it out, watch and learn. First move the playhead and then adjust the position of the mask. Repeat the process until you reach the end of the clip. The keyframes are added automatically. After finishing at the blur effect at the clip. Now let's watch the result in 4K full screen mode. Fantastic. This is exactly what I was looking for. Bytedance. This public bug report is for you. Now be so kind and send me a free prolescence for my trouble.